Hello everyone, Equipment War here and welcome to episode 4 of my beginner guide. And today we are hopefully gonna do both the spider and uh, do the quest one way forward. So let's get to the area where we can do this quest. But before that, let's clear out some uh, uh, forest animals before that. And I think we soon need a little bit better weapon. Alright, now I forgot. I'm using this one. No, that's some damage. And we got a level. Well, this will just be when I'm slowly going to this way, but I have something I want to show. Did I have Leap Slam? I have Leap Slam. That's one thing you can show. Always have Leap Slam when you are in this area. You can jump over these destroyed bridges. bridges. Let's put a skill point here. And I'm going to actually go for the life first. Let's get some strength and continue forward. There are some really interesting things you need to know. If you need to find the way to wetlands, which are real. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, once again. <laughs> if you need to find a way to the wetlands, I have one advice I'm going to give you as soon as I find a way myself. So let's run and do that. I'm going to cut here till I find it. Right, it was completely useless to cut that. But when you see this waypoint here, you'll find the red wave. Because you can see these two poles here, this one and this one. You can see there are stone, flat stones here on the ground. Let's follow these stones, you can see them here. Let's get rid of this snake here. Let's follow these uh, flat stones here. And you will find your way to wetlands. And here we have the unique enemy. Which throws beer traps at you, shooting lightning arrows and using barrage. It's not that dangerous. <coughs> but a little, a little bit annoying. And here you can see we have found the weapons. I just wanted to show that. But before we go, let's take this strong box here. And what I did right there is something you shouldn't do if you are sane. But I am insane, so. Uh, well, what I'm talking about is uh, act with a strong box and uh, not checking for where the mods are on it. Just use a uh, scroll of wisdom because you can get frozen and then you can get killed by a manner of nasty things that can come out of them. So that's tough. Well, I'm gonna make my way to the western forest. So I see you guys there. And here we have found my way to the western forest. And I absolutely love this area. I love the lighting here. It looks magnificent. Like, wow. It looks good. And we got a level. Let's see if we can get that tormented spirit back there. No, don't run away. I just want to hurt you a little bit. You're a, you are like a ghost or something. Hmm, take that with me. Or maybe not. Actually, no, I'm waiting for the next base type. Gonna drop. Need to craft a new weapon soon because uh, you further you go, you fast you need to upgrade your weapon. Well, uh, uh, to know how, when you need to upgrade your weapon, when you start into taking way too much time to kill enemy, you can't le le no longer like two, three, two or three hit enemies to death. It's time to think about your weapon, and this is when you level. In the end game. Things are a little bit different, but uh, when I get there, I'm gonna talk more about that. But for now, well, I can say one thing about Endgame: get the best, get best gear you can afford, or maybe have luck to find. That's my advice: get the best gear you possibly can get. So let's take care of the spider. Actually, do we have any leak stones? We don't have any leak stones activated. So let's activate that one and that one because I like those leak stones. Let's see if we can deal with that giant spider, which one of my friends call him for the Malagora spider, and you will see soon why he called him that name. Hmm. Leak stone, and we have another weapon there. 
well, to find the spider, you just fall in the, this... Well, it's pretty obvious when you need to go to find the spider. You can see how many... All of these webs everywhere. So just follow that to find an opening like this one. Well, again, this will just be me running through this area. So I'm gonna cut here to I get to the boss. And here we have found the weevil's nest. So let's go inside and get the giant spider. Yeah, bring it on, giant spider. This is why I call him, uh, he called the Malagor spider because this spider have the Mal one of the quest items. You're gonna see in a second. And by the way, this boss can actually be a little bit dangerous. We got a better mana flow start. Let's use that. It's shooting uh, Chaos EK against you, and it's actually doing quite a bit of damage. You can see it drops a green item called Malagor Spike, and that's what we need to progress through Act 2. Let's get some space. We need to sell some crap. So, let me get to town. And get a quest roll for this. Yeah, let's talk to Silk and he will give us some really nice quest rewards. We here are gonna get melee physical damage, and this is a fantastic heal. Which we really need, and we're also gonna get, we now are able to buy some even better heals. Let's sell these things I picked up on my journey. Get some currency we really need. And now we can see what you are selling. You know I get uh, melee physical damage on Quest Road. So let's now get the faster attacks, which are also a really nice uh, Yule. One of my favorites. Let's put Whirling Blades together with faster attacks, and I can Whirling Blade faster. And let's take melee physical damage and use that instead of uh, added fine damage. Melee physical damage do more damage, so. And use that instead. I'm probably going to have added fire damage anyway because they're really good Yule. Let's see, it was number eight when this character stashed him, and here we have it. Let's put all of the stuff we earned. Oh, another flask, I'm gonna destroy it. Do that, do that. And by the way, if you're wondering how I can just press on things, just uh, press down control and have it down, and uh, then just. Click on the item. So, I actually get a level, so let's take Golden's Blood and get some nice regen and a big boost to our life. 530 life. Let's do one thing. Another. We have two quests to do here. One, we're gonna kill Alira, and I'm gonna find and show how to find her without going around and looking for her. <coughs> And here we have the way to Alera. To find Alera, when you walk in this way here in the Western Forest, and you can see uh, there are a torch here. You can see the ground here looks different. It looks stony ground. And uh, are there actually two torment spirits here? Well, one of them will come, go away. There are no way possible. I'm going to have time to run, and mm, no way. No way I can get you before you run away. Come on, clear let's... No. <laughs> it, it, it was worth a try. Hmm, we have a rustic stash there, I want that. Mm, maybe, do I have a yellow? No. I actually, that's the one that's pretty good roll, so... But yeah, just follow this, you can see this paved area. Well, you can barely say it is paved, but... This area that looks different from the ground here. See all of the stones there. Doesn't look like the ground around. Just follow this road. You call it road. Then you find Alira's uh, domain. We can just call it domain. And on this particular character, I want to kill Alira. Let's get rid of you. Hmm. If you help Alira and kill all of the other uh, other bandit lords, you will be rewarded by 60 flat uh, mana. But I don't care about 60 flat mana. So, I'm going to kill you. 
She do have a lot of health. <laughs> and what is she are doing? She actually are spawning. You see zombies there. And he blow up corpses and shooting like that. Whatever, whatever you call an attack. Shooting some weird win attack that do physical damage. But she's easy. Most of the time. Well, the corpse explosions can hurt a little bit, so uh, make sure to have good resistance and uh, good fire resistance in the later game when you are like cruel and stuff like that. There, there up we have Haku, but I'm not gonna do his mission. But if you are new and just start playing the game, always do master missions. We got another life flask. We have a 12, 12, we don't need it. Right, so let's do the second mission we have to do here in Western Forest before we are done here. So let's follow the road. We're gonna do a quest called One Way Forward. And it looks like this, and you get in this quest in Act uh, 1. This is One Way Forward. And we are going to kill some more things. And we're gonna get a passive skill point for it. You will see in just a minute. We got more enemies here. We are leveling away from this area. What am I level? I'm one level higher in this area. I'm not leveling efficiently right now. I just, you know, normal leveling. Ooh, look at that! Orb of chance. Get that ring with me. <coughs> Sorry again. Taking too much time to get down here. <laughs> and this episode will not be a long episode because it takes way too much time to upload them if I'm making too long. Here we have Captain Artier. We're just gonna kill him. He uses cleave and double strike. And now he's dead. Now, you can see this item right here. Terminal, oh, I can't pronounce that, but this emblem. You can see this. Uh, seal here let's put it there and this lower this bar barrier so now you can actually take this way this way here to get to act one prisoner's gate if you're going through here you get to prisoner's gate so we now are no longer in act uh, in act two we are in act one as you can see act one but we are not interested in going to act one right now i just want to show it but we are interested in going to the city in Act 1, because when we open that door, you saw right there, we are going to talk to Basel, and he's going to be generous enough to give us a book of skill. So let's use our book of skill, and let's take another passive skill point. I'm making my way to Amber Dexterity right now, and I may be going for Life and Mana and Vitality Void. And I think I'm going to save Eye Reflexes to later. So let's go back to Act 2, and I probably want to end the episode right here. Next episode we are going to take a look at Chamber of Sins, which are this area up, this area up here. We're probably going to do Full Shrine. No, we're not going to do Full Shrine. We're going to do Chamber of Sin and Broken Bridge. All of the Ascendancy Trials, I'm going to show where you can find all of the Ascendancy Trials in a little bit later episode. But anyway, well, thank you all for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time.